Hi there, I'm Megan and I go by Solar Glow Meditations. Tonight we're going to have a dowsing rod session where I will ask some questions to uh, whoever I happen to be talking to. Uh, before we get started, it would help me greatly if you could subscribe and if you have any questions you want me to ask of the rods, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, if you're with me and willing to answer some questions, could you cross the rods to indicate yes? Thank you. And could you open them wide to indicate no? Thank you. Could you point to the direction of your energy? Maybe we'll try that again. Could you point to the direction of your energy? There we go. Thank you. Wait for them to go back. Um, am I talking to my higher self? No, thank you. Am I talking to my spirit guide? Yes, thank you. Do I currently have more than one spirit guide? No, thank you. Uh, have I had other spirit guides in the past? Yes, thank you. Have I had other spirit guides in the, the past in this current lifetime? Yes, thank you. Um, are angels real? Kind of a non-answer. Oh, there we go. Yes. Let's try that one more time just for confirmation. Are angels real? Yes, thank you. Are demons real? Yes, thank you. Is there a balance between dark and light? Yes, thank you. Uh, does the quote, as above, so below, generally hold true? Yes, thank you. And are angels really scary looking? <laughs> like to the normal human perception? Yes, thank you. Um, are angels that are often picked, depicted by uh, the bi biblical um, references, is that an accurate depiction of them? No, thank you. And do angels look over us? Are they here for positive reasons? Yes, thank you. So angels, just to confirm, act as great protectors. Yes, thank you. And can you have multiple angels watching over you? Uh, can certain people have multiple angels watching over them? Yes, thank you. Does everybody have multiple angels watching over them? No. Interesting. Thank you. Um, are the folks that don't have angels watching over them, is that because they don't believe in angels? No. Okay. Um, is the, are the folks that don't have angels watching over them, are they, do they not have angels because they don't need protection? Yes, interesting. Thank you. And is that because they're capable of protecting themselves? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Um, do demons come after people? Yes, thank you. Do demons come after all people? No, thank you. And are demons here to harvest energy? Yes, thank you. And do they thrive on low vibrational energy? Yes, thank you. Um, does low vibrational energy, does that take the form of depression? 
Yes, thank you. Can low vibrational energy take other forms also? Yes, thank you. Um, wait for them to go back. Is a drug or addiction, um, we'll go with drugs, is a drug habit a form of low vibrational energy? Yes, thank you. Um, if you do drugs, are you always going to have a demon after you? No, thank you. And um, are all drugs low vibrational energy? No, thank you. Um, are drugs that are derived from plants, are those generally low vibrational energy? No, thank you. So how about weed? Is weed a low vibrational energy? It's kind of a non-answer. Um, are certain strains of weed low vibration? Yes, thank you. And are there certain strains of weed that are high vibration? Yes, thank you. Um, how about ayahuasca? Is ayahuasca a low vibrational plant? <laughs> no, thank you. Interesting. Um, and do folks that go through ceremonies with plant medicine, such as ayahuasca, do they generally come out a much higher vibration? Yes, thank you. And during these ceremonies, can you encounter things like angels and demons? Yes, thank you. Uh, how about, was Jesus real? No? Only one rod. Let's ask that again. Uh, was Jesus Christ a real person? Yes, thank you. Is Jesus, as he was portrayed in the current version of the Bible, is that accurate? No. Interesting. Um, has the Bible been transformed in so many ways that the messages that were originally written transformed into something unrecognizable? Yes. Thank you. Um, was Mary a virgin mother? Yes, that was a very quick yes. Uh, was Jesus born of Mary the Virgin? No, interesting. Um, was Jesus born to Mary the non-virgin? Yes, interesting. Um, did Jesus rise from the dead? No. Interesting. Um, did Jesus go into the cave and the people came out and thought that he had been dead and arisen? Yes. Was he perhaps just in that cave ill or asleep? Yes. Interesting. Uh, was Jesus nailed to a cross? Yes. Thank you. Were the messages that Jesus had to send about love and light and positive vibrations um, something that he actually did preach? Slow yes, but a yes. And um, is Allah real? Yes. Is Allah and God, the father of Jesus, are they the same being, entity, person? Yes, thank you. Um, are there elements of Islam and uh, Christianity and Catholicism and Buddhism and 
um, all the different religions of the world, is, are there elements that are all, uh, that all contain truth? Yes, thank you. Do any one of these religions get it all right? No, thank you. Um, were some of these religions trying to teach us how to use our spiritual gifts to talk to the other side, to understand our higher selves, our spirit guides, etc., etc.? Yes, thank you. And do some of these religions still teach these things? Yes, thank you. Uh, do all of these religions still try and teach these things? No. Slow no, but a no. Um, let's see. Okay, uh, switching gears a little bit. Um, is Hogwarts real? Oh, yes. <laughs> that is a very excited yes. Do that one more time. Is Hogwarts real? Yes, thank you. Are the places in books real? Yes, thank you. And are they real in the sense that they're real in your imagination? Yes, thank you. Are they real in the sense that with meditative practices you could actually go there? Yes, thank you. <sighs> um, are, is it possible to go to some of these places in your dreams? Yes, thank you. Uh, will your subconscious mind automatically take you there in your dreams even if you don't realize you want to go? Yes, thank you. Um, can you really fly? Yes, thank you. Uh, can you really fly without an airplane? Yes, thank you. Um, can you fly without any sort of, um, mechanism like a hang glider or a, a parachute or anything like that? Um, just like your physical body, could you fly? Yes, thank you. And uh, to be able to fly without any help um, from anything physical, does it take a lot of energy to be able to manipulate that, to make that happen? Yes, thank you. Are there people on Earth today that understand how to fly without uh, anything helping them? Okay, are there people on Earth today that know how to fly using only their energy? Yes, thank you. Um, is this information on how to fly with only energy something that's known uh, commonly? Uh, is it known in the mainstream? It's kind of a non-answer. Um, are there perhaps ways to do it, which I already know how, I just uh, haven't figured out how to do it? Go with a slow yes on that one. <laughs> um, do I fly in my dreams every night? Yes, thank you. Um... Can I swim underwater without holding my breath? Yes, thank you. Can I breathe in the water if I so desired? It's yes, but it's a very slow yes, so there's probably more to that answer. Um, is there more to breathing underwater than just trying to suck in your lungs with water? Yes, thank you. Um, is there something else I should be asking tonight? It's 
like a yes, but a very slow yes. But alrighty, I think that's all we've got time for tonight. Um, if you have more questions for the future, please let me know. Uh, and thanks for being with me.